I'm Micah Smith, and in today's quick tip, we're going to talk about connecting to an Excel spreadsheet as a database. Now, first off, why would you ever need to do that? Well, let's take the example that I've got a gigantic Excel spreadsheet. Here, I've got every zip code in the US, which represents about 42,000 records, right? If I needed to read the corresponding city and state based on a zip code, it would take me a long time to loop through all of those records using Excel Basic or Excel Advanced. With the database connection commands, I can actually connect to this spreadsheet as a database and then use a select statement to be able to pull back the data that I need. So let's look at exactly how to do that. First, you're gonna to need to have this Microsoft Access database engine redistributable installed. And specifically what this is gonna do is set up the Microsoft Access drivers to be able to talk to your Excel spreadsheet as a database. Now, you'll wanna make sure that you install the 32-bit version of these drivers even though you're using a 64-bit OS. So to get started, the first thing we'll need to do is drag the connect action over into our workbench area, and we'll set up our connection mode as default. And this allows us to provide our own connection string. I've got a connection string here that we'll be using. I'll also put this in the video description as well. But the important thing to point out here is we have our data source right here in the middle, right? And that points us to exactly what spreadsheet we're trying to connect to. So if you needed to customize this or connect to a data source on a shared location, you would just need to put in the path to that file. I'm gonna copy all of this out and I'm gonna paste this into our connection string. Great. Now, once that a connection has been established, I need to read from that database, right? Our Excel spreadsheet that's the database. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the export to data table action. And this will allow me to write a select statement and then return the results as a data table. I can then loop through those results so I can figure out you know, what was the matching data. So let's write a select statement real quick. I'm gonna say select asterisk. So I'm gonna return everything for that record from, and I'll give the table name, which here is just gonna be our sheet name, which is sheet one. Now, when you reference a sheet in a select statement using Excel, you have to end it with a dollar sign because dollar sign is also the prefix for variables in Automation Anywhere A2019. I'll use two dollar signs here, almost like an escape character. So I'm saying select star from the sheet and I'll say where, and we wanna know where the zip is equal to 45459. The maximum number of records to fetch is an optional value. Here I'm gonna say three. It should only return one for me because there should only be one match for that zip code in my data, but just in case. And then I'll also put 15 for a seconds for timeout. Now, like I mentioned, the results are actually gonna be returned as a data table. So I'm gonna add a new variable here, prefixed with a lowercase dt, and I'll put uh, query results and hit create and select. So by this point, I should have my results back to me as a data table. What I'm gonna do to retrieve those results is set up a loop. And for my iterator, I'll select data table. So that's gonna go for each row of my data table of returned results. Again, I'm only expecting one, but this is a good practice just in case you end up getting more data than you had expected. For my data table, I'll choose the query results. And then for every row, that will be a record, right? So I'll put R and current row. I'll hit save. And then the last thing we wanna do is actually pull some data out of that record. So what I'm gonna do is add a message box here because I gave a zip code for my lookup data. I'm gonna pull back the city and state. So I'll put city. We'll insert a variable here from our current row. We're gonna do it by index. If I go back here and look at the spreadsheet, index zero would be the zip code, index one would be the city, and index two would be the state. So we'll use that here for a one for our city. I'm gonna copy that so we can do it for the state as well. So state, and then we'll paste that in, and we'll just change the one to a two. And then we'll hit close after five seconds and hit save. Now, I'm also gonna close our spreadsheet here just to make sure everything's good to go, and then we'll hit run. 
Now, this is especially useful when I've got these really large spreadsheets, right, that have a ton of data and it's gonna take me a long time to loop through it. Notice here that it pulled back that data almost instantly using my select statement. Hopefully you found this quick tip helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to our videos on our YouTube channel and follow us on our social channels for more quick tips. Go be great.